With Pete Colino in tow, he crossed the country for the third time, covering 1,100 miles to get us back from whence we came. So, we arrived. She's a dream to tow. Are you happy? Oh yeah. <laughs> so much less stress today. And... I arrive about completely done and just in a pissy mood. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> Go another three hours. Jason's happy. Stormy's happy. Proud to say that everything inside traveled really well. Picolino's happy. We call it embracing your inner Nathan. Yep. Pulling into small parking areas. Refueling anywhere. On a whim. Just, oh, first gas station. I'll pull right in. Because <laughs> I can. When a puppy's too tired to play with his handler. This is why Yakima is better than Thule. The next couple days were work days. This is what it looks like when I monopolize the tie net. <laughs> Using it didn't a work. cutting board as a mouse pad. It's like a little guy that wants to be close to it. It's not feeling well. Yeah. So when we sold Seymour, the Airstream, we took the map off of the door. Um, but we got replacements and there's everybody does it a little differently we put a sticker on if we stay at least one night in that state um, and we talked about do we start over with this new camper or do we redo what we'd already done and I think we've decided we're gonna redo what we've already done so going on today we did not know our state was this wrong and just like that all our stickers are on. So we did laundry today. <laughs> and this is the part that sucked the most about this bed. It's so comfortable. But, so it's comfortable because we did the... That system, the name escapes me right this second. Followed by a mattress topper to protect the cushions. Followed by a foam topper. Super, super comfortable, but making the bed sucks. Just like that, my perfectly made bed. <laughs> with an elevated heart rate. <laughs> it's official. We've been branded for our 56 followers. <laughs> Subscribers. A new place, a new home for a while. Seymour 3.0, a.k.a. Picolino, is now part of the Heartily Adventured family. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. It wasn't all work, though. After Chorin, the boy got to go visit the neighbors. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Later in the day, we got a pretty ominous forecast, so we went inside and hunkered down for the night. The next day, we headed to Flying Saucer in Cordova to see an old friend. Mike and I served together as chiefs in Helicopter Sea Combat Squadron 25. We fished for Marlin together in Guam, lit our hair on fire in Saipan, and deployed together as leading chiefs of the 2515th Naval Air Ambulance Detachment in Kuwait. We hadn't seen each other for 15 years and it was great catching up. Stormy made a new friend while we sampled some brews. As the sun set behind us, we headed home. Here's hoping it's not 15 years until we meet again. Gonna miss this. Kelly got in one last workout and then it was time to head out. We crossed the mighty Mississippi again and then it was time for something new. Now that's different. What? No way. That afternoon, we arrived at Ozark Park in Ozark, Arkansas. 
After living in our Ollie for a week and towing 421 miles without problem, it was time to celebrate. After a rainy start to the day, we watched as the tugboat captain pushed their barges into the Ozark Jetta Taylor Lock to traverse the dam, and enjoyed walks along the Arkansas River watching the local bird life. So a couple of minor issues today. Those USB ports didn't work overnight, so Jay troubleshot those and called Oliver and thinks he's got a band-aid fix on it right now. We'll see tonight. <laughs> Um, and then we went to watch some TV tonight and the video and audio won't play. Like the thumbnails will show like when you scroll through a YouTube video, but nothing else will play. So we're continuing our way westward, right? We are knocking out about 300 miles today. We'll get to Oklahoma. Tomorrow we'll be in Texas. The next day we'll be in New Mexico. <laughs> Pushing to get west. That afternoon, we arrived at Doris Campground in the Wichita Mountains National Wildlife Refuge. Feels good to be back in the woods amongst the wildlife. We saw two bison coming in roaming free. You want nothing to do with the water. Do your webbed toes not work? Don't like water. But your nose works, but not your toes. After taking Storm for a walk around the campground, we called it a day. So here we go. First legit hike oh, since geez. White Sands, which was like six weeks ago or something like that. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Too so. long. Fun. Feels good to be back in the woods. It's a super short one, but at least at least Something. we're out here in the woods. <laughs> Stormy now, buddy. Go around. Along the trail, we bumped into some local grazing wildlife. Respecting the law of gross tonnage, we decided to give him the right of way and found another trail up Little Baldy. Sorry, what did we just do? Did we do a summit? by me. Next morning we hitch back up and hit the road again. This time passing wildlife from a much safer distance. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me seriously Texas. We spent the night at a free campsite in Leveland, Texas. Just enjoy the ride. Then gave Stormy a bit of an updo. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. We pass through another sleepy Texas town. Get me up, so and in, so I can't find myself. And finally arrived in New Mexico, see on Sunset Reef. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so 